Hello everybody. I hope you guys are having a great day. I uh, just wanted to kind of give another update. This will be our last final update and then we're going to do a, a big overview of the whole entire project. Today I'm just going to show you a few other few other things here. Um, and then uh, the last video, like I said, once we get the chickens, the fish, everything's running and so forth, then we'll do a, a big overview of the whole entire project. Um, we only have like one more thing to do and that's the black soldier fly box. Uh, and then, you know, we're going to continue on working with her. So we have some other projects, but the major piece uh, of this project is pretty much, um, you know, wrapping up, like I said, but the black soldier fly box. So as you can see in the background, we got this really beautiful uh, greenhouse that we just got done building. Um, you know, I have never, ever done a greenhouse in my life. And this is really actually a neat experience. Um, I did a lot of praying, trying to figure things out, um, you know, on how to do it. But I wanted to show you a couple key key secrets um, you know it's all kind of a, a, a you know a fabric that um, limits the amount of Sun this uh, limits like uh, I believe is like 28% or 27% and this is 63% Sun um, but a lot of people are saying Sean how are you gonna keep that tied together and keep it from you know falling apart and what we found is you know obviously zip ties but what we did is we siliconed all the joints so I mean this thing is just like locked together so the silicone just kind of goes into all the fabric and then it locks onto the actual PVC. We got double PVC here on all the major areas. So literally we got that zip tied together, silicone. I mean, this thing is just not gonna fall apart. Uh, and then we got metal framework on the sides or, you know, the front and back. So this thing is just, you know, it's got a little leeway this way, but this way it is, is not moving. So uh, we'll step in here. Um, as you can see, we got the actual system pretty much completed as well um, we're going to go get fish in about a week and then um, start the process we got to start putting water in it now but um, you know there's the system that's all in place so you know this is just a beautiful beautiful structure to to grow plants in obviously you know it's designed to one get the harsh sun off of the plants and then also too just get the insects out of here if i don't have to fight insects i'd rather go ahead and put something like this up so um, you know, it costs a little bit of money. It puts it, it was some time to put in But I believe in the long run it's going to really eliminate a lot of issues as far as insects and so forth So um, I'm going to take you over here to the chicken coop chicken coops pretty much um, Done as well. Uh, like I said, I want to put a gallinero or a gallinero. Uh, that's I'm using Spanish here um, I want to put it in a black soldier fly box um, As far as in a chicken coop that that's coming in about a week um, so let's go ahead and look in here um, as you can see it's it's all done you know one guy kind of teased me and said man that's like a chicken prison yeah it's it's a pretty fortified chicken prison here but you know um, I've got a policy I mean if I'm gonna be involved in something it's not gonna be junk this stuff's gonna be good so we worked real hard to make sure that they have a quality product here that they can be proud of uh, Casita de Copan, the children's ministry here, and are uh, not children's ministry, but it's a children's orphanage. Um, as you can see, we got a really nice fence. I mean, this is really an awesome structure here. And then down below, we could put a little bit tighter fencing uh, for the little baby chickens. Um, I had a, something interesting happen. There's a new couple that just moved in town here. We met them, and they're just an incredible couple. And they raise chickens, and I, I have no idea how to raise a chicken, and. Um, and so they said, Sean, you should not have gravel in this little area here. Uh, this needs to actually be dirt. And he said, believe it or not, when chickens, they, they you know, they're, they're searching and foraging and so forth, they will actually pick up like dirt, sand, and like small rocks. And that's used to kind of uh, help their digestive tract. So he said, you've got to have like dirt in this area. And then also for cleaning purposes, it'd just be really difficult to keep it clean with all the chicken poop and stuff. So, so anyway, we took all the gravel back out. We got it down to dirt again. And so we got it all ready. And then also too, the, the whole entire property is enclosed as well. So they're going to be free ranging um, as well. So it's just going to be really neat. We're going to try to put in probably about... 40 to, chick, uh, 40 to 60 chickens at first. We're not gonna go crazy. The guy said that you could definitely put some more in there. But as you can see, we got, I repurposed some five gallon um, buckets here. Uh, that's some nesting. So we got 20 buckets in total. I've got a perch across there. Um, just try to use material that's friendly, not like wood that can rot and so forth. And then in the corner, we got our, uh, we got our water, water, and then our feeder in the corner. And then we got a water supply. 
we even put lights in this thing. So, I mean, this thing is really, really nice. So, um, you know, l like I said, a lot of people are asking me for photos, for, uh, you know, just asking questions, going greater detail and so forth about the aquaponic system. That's going to come out. Um, you know, like I said, I'm going to do an overview video uh at the you know in probably about two weeks i'm gonna have an overview video out just kind of go over everything so but just be patient with me um we got a team coming in next week from arizona so you know um got my mind on focus on that right now so uh then i told the director here that we're going to go ahead and uh pick up once they leave and get everything finalized i uh, just want to put a shout out to casita de copan uh i tell you the uh, the lady that runs this her name's emily she really does an incredible job i love being here um, and i'm just excited to to see what this is going to do for them as far as in um, you know in food production and, and then also education for the kids but they really really have an amazing uh organization here and these kids are just absolutely awesome it's been incredible just kind of being here working but then you know the kids are going to be around they just want to constantly give you hugs and just say hello and you know ask you how you're doing and stuff so it's just been really just a rewarding experience in many ways so like i said just in a couple weeks we'll get an overview video out to you guys uh, all you guys that are curious to know a little bit more we'll get that out there hopefully we'll answer you some questions so you guys have a great uh, week and thanks for watching our video